Guys, a prank goes too far and creates some unwanted drama for the Kardashian clan. We've been bamboozled. <laughs> Oh Prankers have doctored a fake photo of Travis Scott, making it seem like he was cheating on Kylie Jenner. In the picture, the rapper appears to be canoodling with an unknown woman on a balcony, but it's not real. And now the Kardashian family is clapping back. This is the craziest thing. And joining mm -hmm. us from the ET Live newsroom to help break it down is Tove from Gawk Roger with details on what Kim K had to say about the whole thing. I mean, Tove. Do you agree with me? We've been bamboozled. I thought that was Travis Scott cheating yeah, on Kylie Jenner. Yeah, this is crazy. I mean, they really caught us for a loop here. But, you know, sometimes imitation really isn't the sincerest form of flattery because they really upset some people with this. It all started on Tuesday when we got this photo that we saw earlier with someone who looked just like Travis Scott. But it got us all kind of starting to doubt because we couldn't find the photo anywhere. We couldn't find the sourcing of it. It was watermarked with a TMZ logo on it, mm. but TMZ told everyone they never posted the photo themselves. So we mm. looked on all the paparazzi image sites that we have subscriptions to, and we couldn't find the photo anywhere. So we were like, if we can't find it, is this real? Mm. Um, and sure enough, yesterday, um, a YouTuber by the name of Christian Adam G posted a video revealing that the whole thing was a big wow. setup to just find out just how gullible the internet actually is. And you know, it seems like it worked for some people because a lot of media outlets went with this story. Why'd you look at me when you said that? <laughs> I, I know, they got me, they got me, I thought it. So Tover, when the pranksters, you know, revealed that it was them, uh, they seemed like they, they, they were proud of it, but uh, what was the reaction from Kim Kardashian? Cause she was not too happy, was mm -hmm. she? Well, that's the thing. They upset the entire Kardashian clan. So why don't we start with Kylie, who's probably most mm -hmm. directly affected with this. Cause she took to Instagram, posting a screenshot of the YouTube video um, on her story with this response. Um, I don't know if this is really a social experiment to some people, but you're messing with real people, real relationships, real family. I'm happy my relationship is strong because this is getting out of hand. The internet scares me sometimes for real. Um, so going off of that, now Kim Kardashian, her older sister, took to Twitter and said, I hate that I'm bringing attention to this, but this is absolutely disgusting that you would find this funny to mess with Travis and Kylie, who just started a family together. Um, this is really damaging to relationships, families, and it's just so wrong. And then Chloe went to respond to that, saying people are absolutely disgusting. The mind games that this would do to somebody, this is so completely not okay. And even Travis himself replied to the clip on Instagram commenting, shaking my effing head. So these people are really pissed. And we should say, ET Live actually reached out to the prankster for comment, responding to the Kardashians' comments, but we haven't heard back. So I don't know how they're feeling now that they've been called out by the people most affected by this. Right. Oh no, they're being dragged, and rightfully so, I think. Right. They clearly exactly. crossed the line here, but Topher, why do you think it was Travis Scott and Kylie in particular that got targeted here? I mean, their social media profile is massive. All these kind of pranks have really come to fruition since the Justin Bieber burrito right. incident last yeah. month. And that was trending everywhere, and obviously in such harmless good fun. Right. Um, and I think as a result of that photo, everyone kind of wants their piece of the pie. And the right. best way to do it is to attach yourself with people with the most or the biggest following and most passionate fan base on social media. And I don't mm -hmm. know if there's anyone with a more passionate fan base or more influence on social media right now than Kylie Jenner. You know, you mentioned the Bieber burrito. Mm -hmm. I think we have a photo of it because, again, this is not the first time a celebrity targeted. No, we need targeted. to re-see it. We need to re-see it re because, it. again, like you just mentioned, this was harmless fun. I mean, I was cracking up. I'm like, what kind of monster eats a burrito like this? <laughs> <laughs> but it was, you know, it wasn't affecting anybody's real relationships, you know? Right. So, I, I mean, do you do you feel like they cross a line here with, uh, excuse me, with Travis and Kylie? I would say 100%. I mean, it's the kind of thing, we all love a prank. We all love good fun. But you have to think about at what cost. And this yeah, is the right? kind of thing that, again, it does affect a family. There is a young child at stake here. And when you know something like this is going to take off on social media and the media outlets are going to run it, it's really hard to do damage control. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know. It's just the kind of thing where I don't think they really thought about the big picture or the long-term effects of something like this. So by all means, people out there, if you're going to do a prank, Really think about it first before you go ahead with it and think about mm -hmm. the people who might be affected. But mm -hmm. don't get me wrong, we love we love a doppelganger and we <laughs> love a good joke and we love a good burrito and we love a, <laughs> a, a good like eating food weird. Give me Put that. Put our journalism More of that. skills uh, to good to the, use over so, here. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Topher. <laughs>